Chapter 1 Telehandler Basics Before operating any equipment, it's important that you recognize and understand its key components and functions. By the end of this chapter, you should be able to Describe the differences between automobiles and telehandlers. List important telehandler components. Identify safety symbols and explain their meaning. And express the importance of reading and understanding the operator's manual and load chart. Automobiles and Telehandlers A dangerous assumption to make as a new telehandler operator is that automobiles and telehandlers operate in the same way. While they may have some similarities, their differences are far greater. For instance, in general, automobiles have a suspension system that utilizes shock absorbers, front wheel steering, a constant center of gravity, and no hydraulic lift system. Additionally, they have been designed to carry one operator and multiple passengers, provide operators with maximum visibility of the road, and travel over prepared roads at speeds ranging from 0 to 120 kilometers per hour. Telehandlers, on the other hand, have a suspension system provided by their tires, various steering modes, a center of gravity that varies by load and boom position, and a hydraulic lift system with controls. Additionally, telehandlers have been designed to carry one operator and no passengers, provide a high degree of visibility to the operator, though loads, structures, or other objects in the area may obstruct visibility, and travel over uneven terrain at low speeds, ranging from 0 to 30 km per hour. The main difference between these machines, however, is their function. Automobiles are mainly meant for transport, while the main function of telehandlers is to transport and raise loads. As telehandlers fulfill these functions, unlike automobiles, they may experience major weight shifts between the front and rear axles, resulting in reduced braking capabilities.